Let me show you how to use Google Docs Citation Manager to cite your sources. There are two types of sources. There's two types of citations we're going to need to include inside our body of text. One is the inline citation. That goes in my writing to show that I have copied or borrowed an idea from someplace. And then there's a reference list. Either way, we're going to go ahead and use the Tools Citation Manager found in this Tools menu. That will pop open up this pop-up over here. Now we're going to go ahead and choose APA formatted citations, which is meant for technical work or social sciences. MLA is meant more for arts and humanities. So I'm going to choose APA and click Add Citation Source. This is where I now choose my source type. Now I accessed mine from a website, and I'm going to go ahead and choose that it was accessed by that website. Now it says to search within the URL. So I'm going to open up the website that I borrowed that quote from, and I'm going to choose Control C to copy the URL at the top of the screen. And I'm going to use Control V to paste it into the search bar and then click search. The great thing about Google Docs citation is it does most of the work for you. Now here it found all of my information you can see in the search results. Sometimes you'll see little red text that says that there was some things that it couldn't find that I might need to cite manually. Either way, I'll click continue and make sure all of the information is correct. The author, the title, the website, the URL. Notice all these have a blue asterisk. Those are the recommended fields, and I should make sure that every recommended field has been filled out. When it's done and complete, I'm going to click add citation source. If I'm doing research, I might have multiple citations, and I can collect them all over here to use when needed. Now let's go ahead and use this citation source. For my inline citation, I'm going to come down to the quote that I need to insert a reference to or a citation. I'm going to click the spot that I need to insert that citation, and then I'm going to come over to my citation menu and click cite next to the citation that I need to use. That will insert an inline citation right here. The last thing I need to do after I'm all done with my paper is come down and include a reference list. Now again, I might have multiple references in my citation manager. When all of those are there, I'm going to come and click the insert reference button at the bottom of my document, and it's going to insert my references list, including all the various citations that I have. And that's it. It's that easy.